Hello and welcome. Uh, thank you for stopping by for the first ever episode of Reverend Folklore Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest project from Nate Allen, Hide No Truth by Good Saint Nathaniel. Hopefully you've heard of, but maybe you haven't, uh, the musical projects of Nate Allen. Nate's probably best known for his work with his wife Tessa in Destroy Nate Allen, which is kind of a uh, really quirky and fun pop-punk duo. Um, or maybe you've heard of him from his more rock and roll project, uh, Nate Allen and the Packaway Dots. But before all that, before Nate picked up a guitar or ever thought about joining a band, there was Nathaniel Allen, a boy who grew up playing baseball and going to church in a small town in Southern Oregon. I met Nate in high school and we were both attending a small private school and we became good friends. Uh, we played in a couple of bands together before I went and did my own projects and later Nate went and did his own solo projects. Hide No Truth is an album that deals a lot with spiritual abuse, broken relationships, and reflection on difficult moments from your past. But ultimately, it's an album about healing. Nate takes a more minimal approach on this album than he has on some of his past releases, and mostly relies on the lyrics on this album, just framing them with simple vocal and guitar arrangements with occasional electric guitar or synthesizer or organ parts just to add extra soundscapes to the record. The album's first song, Everything That's Lost, starts with a sound of an acoustic guitar just lightly picking and a lightly plucked harp. And then soon after we're met with a warm, reverb-soaked electric guitar, a very minimal but very appropriate for the song. Um, it has a great line, uh, Everything That's Lost Will One Day Be Found and I think that's just going to tell you the general arc of the album. Uh, the next song gets a little more reverbed out and a little more spacey, um, with a little bit of an eerie vibe on the song Heaven. Uh, later on the song Concrete, uh, things turn probably the most personal they've been so far on this album. Uh, talking about broken friendships and not feeling or experiencing what he felt like he was supposed to in church. Uh, the song is a little bit like walking past a series of slightly open doors and just taking peeks in as you go by and you're not really sure if you're supposed to know what's going on or see what's going on. Uh, it just feels really personal. You're giving all these snapshots of moments from Nate's life uh, without any real context. Um, but somehow it feels relatable, even though it's so vulnerable. And it has the line in it, Time does not heal everything. Talking about all these moments where he was hurt, um, and maybe ignoring it just doesn't fix it in itself all these years later. After that song comes Coming Unglued and Making Repairs, and these two songs are really about exactly what you think they would be. Um, about being broken, about coming undone, and then starting the mending process by admitting your hurts and where you've been wronged. Um, the line uh, that stood out was, uh, my heart was broken, I needed a new one, I'll be in the basement making repairs. It's kind of a turning point in the subject matter on the album a little bit for me, those two songs. After that comes Lightning, uh, which is one of my personal favorite songs on the record. And there's also a really cool uh, music video for this song if you have the internet, which I'm assuming you do. Um, if you're viewing this, to me this song uh, feels like a quiet place um, being in the eye of a storm. Um, has this beautiful electric guitar work on it and these faint organs um, just playing softly in it that when I hear it, it just sounds like you're in the desert or you're in the plains somewhere in the United States and you're just 
watching the storm just going over and passing over you, watching lightning flash in the distance, um, but feeling calm um, because the storm is so much bigger than you. And what can you really do with that power? Um, it's a great song. And then the song Bombs comes, and it's just a song about um, wanting a world where people don't suffer, and people don't hurt themselves, and people hopefully don't hurt each other. Uh, pretty simple, but Nate's delivery is so earnest on it that it really feels like it means a lot. And then after that, the song Trust comes, and it states, uh, Still I will trust in the name of the Lord. To me, it sounds... The delivery of that sounds as though it were a shout uh, Nate was making that couldn't quite break free at full volume. Instead it comes out a little more like a whimper, but not necessarily in a defeated way. It's a whimper that feels bold and desperate and as though it took all the strength that Nate could rub together to get that sound out and deliver that line. So it's kind of almost has this power in its brokenness. Then after that, it you know, comes the last song, uh, Better. And to me, <laughs> the song Better feels like you've reached this moment where you're standing on top of a hill, but you're in the shadow of a mountain. And you can look back and see everything you've done to get here. You can look back on everything that's happened to get you to this point. And you can just take a moment to really kind of celebrate your accomplishments and just revel in everything that, you know, it's a small victory, It's but still in the full knowledge you have this giant mountain ahead of you, but it takes a moment to kind of celebrate what we've gone through to get here, but we're going to keep going. And uh, I think it's really a great way to round this out. The line of the chorus is, I think we can do a whole lot better than this. Kind of uh, wraps up a whole album on kind of a hopeful note. Now the first thing I noticed about this album when I got it in the mail was uh, the packaging. You take it out of this slip case here and you open it and the case itself has a flex to it. it feels kind of fragile, it bends And somehow that fits with the whole theme of a record. Um, it feels fragile. It feels like it could fall apart at any time, but somehow it doesn't. It, it bends and it flexes, but it never breaks. My overall thoughts on the record is that it's a beautiful album about a heart that breaks and picking up the pieces. Um, but instead of just picking up the pieces and moving on, it brings out the glue and it brings out the bandages and it gets a little bit messy and the pieces are reassembled. Maybe others are invited to help in the process and put pieces where you can't quite see or reach. Part of the point of this album is that you can't just heal yourself or substitute healing with just ignoring wounds and moving on. In order to grow, maybe you need to admit where you've been injured and ask for help. Um, and maybe help comes from being honest with yourself, or maybe help comes from relationships or close friends that you trust, or uh, maybe you need help, professional help, uh, maybe you need therapy, and that's a thing that's okay too. And uh, yeah, the album also very much asks for help from God. Um, even with all the wounds from the church that are talked about on this album, it very much brings it back to God can still be part of that healing process. And I have to say, as a, someone who's known Nate for long enough to have some uh, out-of-game knowledge about Nate, um, I remember a lot of these same specific events he mentions on this album and was even there for some of them. We went to the same school, we knew a lot of the same people, we shared some of the same experiences, but a lot of the same events frankly just didn't affect me in the same way they affected Nate. 
Um, and that's not to delegitimize de his experiences at all. Um, it's more to say that things that wound up being hurtful to Nate were not the same things that hurt me, and vice versa. It's just interesting how being at a slightly different angle or a slightly different perspective in a situation can greatly affect your view on things. Maybe just be aware that when someone says something hurt them or something bothers them, um, even if you don't understand or you don't get it, or you don't see it that way, don't be too quick to dismiss them. Um, be willing to listen and uh, take for stories and feelings at face value. And another quick note here is, uh, again, as someone who's known Nate for some time, this album kind of feels like bookends on the career so far. Um, after the first uh, Destroy Nate Allen solo record, uh, right before Tessa joined, kind of is one of the most similar feeling albums to this. I think the album's long out of print, I don't know if it's on the internet or not, but then things kind of took a different direction and things got a lot more uh, fun, things got a lot more energetic, the arrangements on the albums got much bigger and grander and they developed this really great live show. And uh, this album kind of takes it back to a more minimal uh, guy with guitar approach, but in a much more mature way um, from a perspective of someone who's seen some things and had some experiences and done a lot of personal growth. Um, it's like Nate has to look back at everything that happened before he started going out and doing music in order to move forward. So I, I think this is kind of a bookend point right here. Or maybe the transition to what comes after. So this feels like a strangely necessary step in that process. If you're interested in checking out this album, uh, Hide No Truth by Good Saint Nathaniel, I've included the links uh, down below in the description where you can listen to, download, or purchase a physical CD of this album. If you're a fan of bands like Dave Bazan or Page of a Lion, or maybe some of the more minimal stuff from Bright Eyes, I would strongly recommend you check out Hide No Truth by Good Saint Nathaniel. Um, it's not a particularly easy listen, but it's a really rewarding listen. I would just recommend you lay out on the floor, or if you have a reclining chair, just lay back and listen to the whole thing from start to finish. Um, maybe you have some candles, uh, maybe a lamp, but it's definitely best as a dedicated listen in low light. Um, just my personal recommendation, uh, listen to music however you see fit. And uh, thank you so much for joining me today on Reverend Folklore Reviews. Uh, be sure to subscribe or like this video if you liked it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. And everything that's lost will one day be found. Everything that's living composted, turned around, giving birth to flowers, melody, and brand new song, clean energy, fresh atmosphere, like ripples on a, like ripples on a, like ripples on a, like ripples on a